Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Today we're solving exponential equations, but we're doing exponential equations that are a little more complicated than the ones that we've done in the past. Typically, when we are solving exponential equations, we want to work to get the base to be the same, and then we can just equate the two exponents. But in this case, we can't get 6 and 4 to have the same base. So we have to go with a different strategy now. So in order to solve this particular exponential equation, we're going to do something called take the log of both sides. And so if we take the logarithm of both sides, we don't change the equation because we're doing it on both sides. And we can simplify this and get those um, variables, the x's, out of the exponents and then solve for it. So when we do that, uh, we're going to do log base 10 like this. And so this is what I mean by taking the log of both sides. And so because we've done the log here, we can remove the exponent using the power law from our laws of logarithms and bring it out to be a coefficient. And the same thing with this exponent here, it can be a coefficient here. And so this works to get rid of the exponents. And now we have Let's do like this. Now we have the variable x down into the equation and we're going to be able to solve for it. So I have an x on this side and I have an x here. I'm just going to uh, distribute and multiply the two terms in the brackets with that log 4 to simplify. Our next line, 3x log 6 equals 2x log 4 minus 3 log 4. You can see that we have an x term here and an x term here. So we have to get these two terms on the same side so we can solve for that x variable and then we'll keep the this uh, constant here, this number minus 3 log 4 on the right hand side. I'm going to bring over the bring this up. I'm going to bring over that 2x log 4 by subtracting it. And we have negative 3 log 4 left on the right hand side. We want to get that x by itself. So we have this common x factor in both of these terms. We can pull out the x to the front and factor it out. And so that looks like this. Bring the x out. And from this term, we're left with 3 log 6. And in this term, we're left with minus 2 log 4. And on the right-hand side, we still have this. Now, we can easily solve for the x because this is x times a number. This whole thing is just a number here that can be evaluated. So I can divide by that number to get it over to the other side. I'm just not evaluating it now because then I'm going to have to deal with writing out decimals and I might lose some accuracy and I might make copying errors. So I'm just going to keep the logs in until the very end for the sake of accuracy. So now these cancel, of course, and on my left hand side I'm left with x equals negative 3 log 4 divided by 3 log 6 minus 2 log 4. This is just a number. So at this point, you can get out your calculator and evaluate this. Just make sure you follow order of operations. And this is going to give us a value approximately equal to negative 1.60 if I round to two decimal places. So that is the value of x that satisfies this exponential equation. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.